and welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Poss Angus is nestled in the hills of central Nebraska. The Poss family has raised superior Angus genetics for decades and operates like most commercial operations in the Central Plains. The family started their business by selling seed stock regionally, but now their genetics are at work in pastures as far away as Australia. I grew up in this area and this is where my grandparents homesteaded. My dad started a commercial cow-calf operation and I always, always had passion for cattle. I enjoyed 4-H and showing cattle. I went to UNL, studied animal science. I was on the UNL livestock judging team. We were fairly successful at judging. The Poss family is much like any other ranching family. They're as committed to the ranching way of life as they are to each other. You know, raising a family in agriculture is a really blessed way of living in so many different ways. Probably, I would say the freedom and flexibility of being able to design our day, we're able to put our family first and that's a big deal to all of us, um, especially as we've been raising our kids. You know, Danny's dad had a tremendous work ethic and so did his mom. And so they have instilled that in him and then that has grown into something that he expects from his kids. It's important to teach them a great work ethic, but also it's really important for me that we are there for each other. Well, I enjoy helping the boys tag calves or check um, calves during calving season. We help a lot with night calving when it's really cold out, check in the middle of the night and then help pull calves into the shed and <laughs> don't get to bed very early. You know, growing up on a farm, it teaches you so many life lessons and skills. It teaches you how to use your time wisely and how to get things done when there's big events coming up, giving shots when working cows. And Neely and I have a few of our own cattle and Nolan and Nathan and my dad help us a lot with them. And uh, Posh Angus, you know, everyone in the family is a big part just in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, no matter what time of year it is, whether it be in the middle of the winter when we're processing cattle and uh, doing a lot of data entry, uh, mom and the girls are a very integral part of that where, you know, they help us get it put in the computer so we can get sent off to the association in a timely manner. And, you know, they, it's a big part of a registered operation. And with that, it allows uh, my dad and I to be a little more free. We can kind of focus our time on other things. It's amazing how much our family can get done, whether it's farming or ranching. Everybody has a certain area that they're good at, and it's really made our business successful. Christy's a great part of our team, where she has great leadership skills that keep everybody progressing in the right direction. I get a lot of phone calls during the day. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I'm at or what I'm doing. Somebody's usually calling me to go get something or bring them something. Probably the number one question that I get at Pos Angus is, what is for lunch? Bless us, the Lord, and these I guess we're not received from the body to Christ the Lord, amen. Okay, dig in. The boys have been a great help at a young age. They've accomplished some big things at a very young age, and that's made them more valuable to our operation. They have a vision now where Pos Angus wants to be. As we got older, Dad didn't really have to beg us to come out and be a part of it. I mean, there might have been a couple of days he had to talk us into it a little bit, but uh, now as we've grown up and we've started to take on part of it ourselves, there's definitely a future for Paw Angus, I feel like, for, the, for many years to come as we plan to grow this operation and uh, just keep giving back to our customers that have always been there for us. We know of several customers that have been there ever since Nolan and I were knee high to a grasshopper really. A lot of our customers that know Nate and I on a more personal basis know that we're very different in our own ways. 
but we still have the same common goals. And a lot of that is just being able to help our customers achieve their goals as well. You know, our big day is our sale day. And for a lot of ranchers around here, you know, they really enjoy when they get to bring their calves in and brand them. They're proud of them. Uh, they get them worked. They have a community come together and, and get it done. So it's really rewarding to go help them do that and help them accomplish that. And I know Nolan and I've gone with him a lot too. We like to go watch calves sell. Uh, we've also done a really good job of, uh, you know, dividing our role plays around here. Uh, you know, I know there's been a lot of days where I'd rather go jump in the feed wagon and take care of stuff like that while he's entering calves on a computer. So, you know, being different really goes hand in hand for us. It helps get a lot more done in a day too. We can split up and go two different ways. And there's a lot of things we do together as well. But when we can go accomplish two different things at once and we're both happy doing what we're doing, it, it's really rewarding for us. It's also helped now that we're getting to the age, we can help alleviate that stress off of our dad and be able to help manage the different aspects of our business to where he doesn't have to be in so many places at once. It's really helped us to the point where we're diversified so much that we're making the progress we need to to keep our operation successful. After the break. We're always searching for leading edge genetics and take those new genetics to the next level. Hear the story of a Poss Angus bull that became one of the most recognized in the Angus breed. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Poss Angus in central Nebraska produces superior Angus genetics for the commercial beef industry. Supported by a large farming operation, Poss Angus is built on decades of experience improving Angus genetics. In fact, one of the most recognizable Angus bulls in recent memory was developed by the Poss family. All of the farming, it revolves around the cattle in some shape or form. So we're cutting about seven miles per hour. If it's smooth, we can go 10 or 11. Probably cut 15 acres an hour, maybe. We chop all of our own silage. All of our haying is done for the cattle. And then we also graze stocks very heavily in the winter months, which gives us a great access to feed for cows. And it really makes them go out and work even in those winter months. You know, the cows are our factory. Uh, a lot of people know that dad's had a hard time letting some of our good cows go and we've gone a lot of years of keeping good cows and now we're trying to let some of our good cows go and go out and help other producers, you know, and uh, we really strive to create a product that can go out and work in any environment. You know, these cattle, they, they do live a really good life here, but we also try to make sure that they live in conditions that could be handled somewhere else. We hope them genetics can go on to benefit many other ranches and people and it don't really matter where they go. We, we want to create something that can, that's ready for its environment no matter where at. I always had a passion for adding value and I knew genetics was the best way to add value. I knew I could succeed by producing the genetics that would, that would all work together and, and I always bred cows to produce those genetics that would fit in a commercial environment. Our genetics are designed to produce elite animals. Everything that we strive to do on this ranch is to make the commercial cattleman's life easier and more profitable, whether it's cow-calf industry or the cattle feeding or, or the end product. We expect excellence. And it, it always intrigued me to find cow families that excelled in the Angus breed and breed them to bulls that would complement their genetics and produce an end product that works for all segments. And our goals at Poss Angus is to make genetics with cavities, explosive growth, and high maternal and high carcass, where they can run more cows per acre, fault-free, and make their lives easier and more profitable. 
we're always searching for leading edge genetics and take those new genetics to the next level. So we've designed our breeding program to find those animals that will take us to the next level. If we find a bull that we really like and that we think fits our needs and will do a good job for our commercial customers, we'll go out and pursue that animal and get eyes on them and make sure that they're what we need. And when we find those genetics, we made them to the Pacific cows, whether it's the donors or just the regular bred heifers. I'm always intrigued by the amount of data that we can have at our fingertips and being able to utilize everything that is at our vantage point. I like to be able to give our commercial customers everything that can benefit them. We don't want to leave anything out, but we also don't want to overwhelm them. Our program is designed to fit different scenarios for different customers in different areas and different environments. We expect our elite genetics to work in tougher environments. The technology allows us to find those animals that, that will work in certain tough areas or very productive areas. We select for cow families that got good feet and leg structure, excellent fleshing ability, excellent docility, and excellent udder quality that will work in diverse environments. It could be clear up in Minnesota or on over into Pennsylvania, clear on down to the bayous in Louisiana and over to the desert in Nevada and uh, Northern California. There's just a lot of, a lot of different variety in the regions that we send bulls to so it's very important that these bulls are sound and easy doing so that they can work in any environment possible. Our terrain here in central Nebraska is a great environment to uh, produce bulls in it. We've got cold winters with high winds. In the spring we get mud and cold weather and in the summer we get hot dry weather. We've got big hills and it, may, it really toughens them bulls up so that when they uh, go to their new home, they're ready to work. One Paws Angus bull has gained a lot of attention in recent years. One of our best bulls that we've uh, raised to date would be Paws Deadwood. He's kind of taken the industry by storm. He uh, really just possesses all of the qualities that we've strived to produce for so long. He's got an elite combination of phenotype and genetic merit. He's uh, backed by an eight-year-old cow that uh, actually proved herself out on the hills of our ranch and just through her progeny proved to us that she was the real deal. His sire is uh, Paws Maverick who is a staple in our herd and has really gone on to develop many great females and bulls that have left a lasting legacy in our herd. With that elite combination of everything tied together Deadwood was able to command a price of $900,000 to an elite group of breeders headed by Dixie Valley Ranch of California. I have a lot of people say, so is that Danny Poss? Is that Poss Angus from Nebraska? I said, that, that, that's it. And they said, were you there for the $900,000 bull? I said, yeah, we were there. I said, I bid once and it was, I bid when it was under 100000 but I didn't get it, so. I tried. <laughs> I bid the year before on the $140,000 bull. Didn't get that one either. Up next. The more bulls we bought from, from Danny Poss, we just started noticing that our calves just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Hear more of why Poss Angus bull customers keep coming back. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to the American Rancher. In the years since Poss Angus Ranch began selling superior Angus genetics, they've earned the loyalty of customers from as far away as Australia. One of the most rewarding things about selling purebred cattle is you, you get to meet a lot of different people from different areas of the, of the U.S. or even different countries. And it's amazing how many very valuable customers that we had while we were starting that are still buying bulls from us today. We um, run about 500 cows and 1,500 acres of farm ground, I guess, that um, have 
couple boys, three boys back here helping me now, and, and my wife. I bought one of his first bulls probably back in, I don't know, early 90s, I bet it was. And we've always just been, had good luck with his bulls. You know, I guess you, you buy things that um, you keep coming back if they work for you. I mean, he's got some of the top bulls in the state, you know, for sure, and probably across the country. You hear him talk about selling bulls and all across the United States and even into Australia. So, and he's had um, always had good service. We've uh, whenever we've had a problem, he's always taken care of us. And so I think it, it's always been fun. Uh, so that's over 30 years now, or getting close to 30 years, and it's been really fun to watch his operation expand like it has and, and to see his boys come back in and be involved in events. Gary Bader and Sons is a family farm ranch and feed yard. My dad started our operation in 1962 and all of us kids have come back and farmed with him our entire lives. We grew up riding horses and rotating pastures our entire life. We bought by far the most bulls from Paz Angus. Their bulls hold up well year after year after year. His EPDs are phenomenal. The marbling's always there, uh, and we really appreciate that with Danny's bulls. We don't feed yearlings, we just feed calves, wean them, take them from birth to feedlot, to feedlot to packer. These bulls are performing very good and do everything we want for calves to be sold at 13, 14 months of age. I started out with black cows or Hereford cows in my life and went to black cows. And when I went to black cows, I started buying from Danny Poss and I bought from other people. And I kept records, uh, all my cattle was freeze branded. I kept records of every one of them. And the more bulls we bought from, from Danny Poss, we just started noticing that our calves just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and we're actually keeping track. We're feeding less feed. I made more money on cattle than I probably ever had for the amount of feed that's been fed. Then in the last 10 years, I went from 600 pound calves to 900 pound calves, fall calves. And we've hardly bought any other cattle in the last 10 years other than from Danny Poss and the family. I just thank Danny for raising cattle like that and, and probably actually thank the good Lord that I met him to help me with this because it has changed our marketing plans a lot. My son moved back and he's got, we wind up buying two this year and I bought two, so now we bought four cab, four bulls this year. So. Danny has such good numbers that you can make a good judgment on the bulls because he does such a good job of his numbers and then all the data he gives you is a great tool to be able to select the bulls that'll work with our herd. The bulls are just very attractive, very thick. The, the family is just a great family to work with. They, they want you to be happy and they will spend the time to walk through the bulls with you to make sure you get what you want. What sets Poss Angus apart first is uh, they're a great family that gets up and works hard every day. That's without question, Sunday or Monday. And, uh, and I think that's what it takes in this business. Danny Poss, the owner, uh, I think has great vision for genetics on how they can be used from border to border, C, C to C. I believe the prefix has performed at that level. Uh, I believe it's been widely accepted for what it can do on per performance traits and uh, creating a role for those genetics in the market. That's tough to do when you're you know, in uh, a certain part of the country, but they have to perform in all parts of the country. I think he's done a great job at it. The brand building part of Paws Angus has really escalated over the last three or four years. And brand building in the purebred business means, is your prefix, prefix recognized across the country? And that is when they see the Paws name, do they associate that with the whole herd and the whole program that's happened here? It takes a lot to make an operation like this work. To be able to create Paws Angus and our vision here in Greeley County has been a really rewarding thing for us. And I can't be any more grateful than I am for the friends and the family and the communities that we're raising our kids in. I think the future of Paws Angus, uh, in my eyes, is an ongoing family tradition, really. Uh, 
I know our main goal is customer satisfaction and leading edge genetics. And if we can keep those, you know, if you keep customers happy and keep doing your best to produce cattle that'll fit them, there's a lot that can happen. And as we move on in the future, the workload doesn't get any smaller, but I think the opportunity grows. So as long as we're willing to keep our heads down and keep doing what we're doing, I think there's a lot in store for us. Mark your calendars for the 2022 Paz Angus Bull Sale at the ranch in Scotia, Nebraska on Friday, February 4th at 1 p.m. Central. This year, they're offering 225 Angus Bulls by leading sires. That's all the time we have today. For more details on the Paz Angus program or the sale, log on to pawsangus.com. Or to find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.